हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नरेटर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टर्बो चार्जर सर्जिंग दिस इज माय फर्स्ट वीडियो रिगार्डिंग द सर्जिंग आई विल बी अपलोडिंग रिगार्डिंग द सर्जिंग ईच एंड एवरी टॉपिक लाइक इन टुडे वीडियो वी विल टॉक हाउ द सर्जिंग ऑकर इन माय अपकमिंग वीडियो आई विल टेल यू व्हाट आर द इफेक्ट ऑफ सर्जिंग and after that i will tell you how to counteract the surging because surging is a very important topic in marine field and also important for those who are on board so i am taking it in a longer discussion way so that we can cover each and every component regarding surging so let's begin the today video of surging so before beginning the surging video i will give a synopsis what happened and what area we are going to talk about surging basically surging is a phenomena which occur on that air side okay in normal case what happen the air is coming from here the turbocharger and through inducer and compressor mechanism it is been gaining the velocity and through diffuser and volute casing the kinetic energy which has gained is converted into pressure energy and then it is going to the scavenge manifold after bit after getting cooled by air cooler this is a normal phenomena which is occurring okay now so this is the compressor okay and this is the filter coming from here getting compressed to volute casing and then to the scavenge manifold so first let us discuss the normal scenario this part is the compressor wheel part and this part is the diffuser part this will give you a clear idea this is the compressor part and this part is the diffuser part so first see let us see what is the happen when a normal operation in normal operation air is discharged from compressor wheel with a velocity a okay this is the velocity with a from which the air is coming out from the compressor wheel and this combined with rotary velocity b okay rotational component b so why two component first is the compressor is compressing the air with a velocity a and second because it is doing it in a rotational form therefore it will have a rotational component b so both combination will give us a resultant velocity c this c resultant will be direction will be search that this c will match with the diffuser vein which has been in the compressor discharge side so basically what i am saying is that the resultant velocity c will be search that the diffuser outlet will match with it the diffuser vein are match to this air direction and so the air enter the diffuser with a velocity d which is approximately equal to c okay so before beginning here see i am um, what i mean to say that the air which is coming out from the compressor blade having resultant velocity c means combining the both component a and b we are getting resultant c this c will be same the angle of c will be same as that the angle met in this diffuser so that the air coming out from here getting smoothly transited and converted from the gaining the kinetic energy into the pressure energy how i will explain this so what i mean to say is that the angle of this vein diffuser vein which is in made is been designed based on the resultant velocity c okay so therefore the angle of c and angle of d are same and therefore the resultant intensity will also be same but because of the diffuser action it is acting as a divergent nozzle therefore it is converting the pressure energy sorry it is converting the kinetic energy into the pressure energy and slowly slowly reducing the velocity into a pressure energy form so 
the intensity of D will be more compared to intensity of E because E will have a more pressure component and less velocity component compared to D which will have a more velocity component and less pressure component. So the area increase, this area increase, as you can see the area of the diffuser when here and here will not be same. There is a less and here will be more. Therefore, it is acting as divergent nozzle. The area increase through the diffuser and so the velocity to E and the energy is converted from kinetic energy into pressure energy as I have told you earlier. So, in normal operation what is happening? The resultant velocity C having a component of rotational energy and velocity energy is going through the diffuser vein which is matched with this resultant velocity C and converting the kinetic energy into the pressure energy. Now, let's see how a surging is gonna occur now. Now, if there is now a restriction in the air flow in the system, A will be reduced. Okay. Now, if there is a restriction, restriction in a sense means suppose there is a restriction in a air filter. This air filter component is getting choked. So, the amount of air which is coming to compressor will be reduced. Therefore, the component A will be reduced, but the rotational component will remain same as the compressor is rotating in same energy. So, now what will happen? The resultant C will change. As the A has reduced, B remaining the same, therefore, the resultant will be C will be changed, but the angle at which the diffuser has been made it's fixed is d because it has been made for normal operation now we can't change the, this angle so now the angle of c and angle of d is now mismatched because of this mismatch there will be ad and turbulence generation which means loss in energy because of this loss in energy, the amount of energy, that kinetic energy which need to be converted into pressure energy will not happen, will be less or very minimal. So the conversion of the air into the required pressure energy will not going to happen because of change in that resultant velocity C. Okay. And as the diffuser angle means it is fixed. Why it fixed? Because we have made it in this angle in normal operation. Now, if the, the restriction in the air flow, the resultant velocity C will change. But we can't change this. Na? So, as this can be changed, therefore, the there will be generation of eddies and turbulence. Now, because of the resulting turbulence in the diffuser, caused by this the effective area through the diffuser will not be increased and thus E will remain the same as D no conversion of kinetic into pressure energy. So as I have told you so there will not be any pressure generation means there will not be any increase in pressure energy. So now at certain point the pressure buildup in the air manifold will blow back through the compressor causing surge in the turbocharger revolution, the noise and vibration. The system will now stabilize itself. The pressure will be built up again and if the condition causing the surge is still present, the cycle will repeat itself. Very, very important. So basically, we have seen now this condition has occurred. Okay. There is a restriction and because of that, the, there is no conversion of pressure energy. Means there is no effective air, a, air energy having pressurized generated. So we are not no more sending pressurized air to the scavenge manifold because of the restriction. Because of this restriction, we are unable to set the pressurized air into the manifold. 
a point will come a point will come when because of unable of efficiently operation of compressor the pressure in the scavenge manifold will be more compared to the pressure developed by the compressor once more i will tell you the compressor the pressure developed by the compressor and diffuser arrangement is less as compared to the pressure in the manifold if a time comes like that in that case what will happen as you know air always flow from high to low so as a scavenge manifold is higher pressure compared to compressor therefore there will be a blow back of air from compressor to the sorry from manifold to the compressor side because of this a loud barking sound will be produced which is called surging okay so i will tell you from this diagram now what is happening in normal case the air is coming from here is getting generated and then going to the scavenge manifold now if this compressor efficiency is such that it is unable to produce pressurized air why it is unable to produce because of restriction as the restriction is happening the resultant velocity c is changed from this to this and because of this change there will be eddies and turbulence generation and there will no effective pressure generation and because of that the pressure will not be developed and a time will come which will cause the blow back of air from manifold to the compression side this phenomena is called surging and this will continue when till how long it will continue till the compressor stabilize itself what do i mean by that i mean to say that till the compressor is able to generate air having pressure more than that of its cabin manifold this phenomena will be repeating itself okay depending on the degree of restriction the frequency can be anything from a few second to a number of minute okay so if anybody say you what is surging surging is a blow back of air from scavenge manifold to the compressor inlet of a turbocharger producing a loud barking noise this is called surging why it happen so you should explain this by this vector diagram because of the change in the c resultant velocity and as the angle of d of the diffuser is fixed there will be a generation of turbulence okay now let's see what are the cause of turbocharger surging i am telling here synopsis i will explain in more detail in my next video basically the cause of surging is dirty air filter okay dirty air cooler on the air side is cavity port choked with carbon is cavity air temperature after air cooler turbine side of a turbocharger dirty back pressure in the exhaust system too high sudden change in the engine load and one or more unit not operating properly this is simply i am telling for the exam purpose each and every point i will explain in detail in my next video in up my upcoming video so i hope you have got a idea that how a surging occur in a turbocharger and this is a diagram which i have made so that you can easily draw in the exam for the exam purpose you can draw and you can explain so i hope the idea of surging is clear if you think you have gotten something from this video so please do hit the like button and please do subscribe and please friend you do share my video in your facebook whatsapp telegram whatever platform my only aim is to reach as many individual like yours so that i can my only main aim is to bring knowledge to everybody for free okay so please 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 share the video have a good day friend good day